Hello and welcome to Infinity. When working with macros, uh, working with layers is not quite as simple when you want to move around the layers into different areas. So if I take this one, for example, and I say Control J twice to duplicate it, we'll call the top one A, next one B. Next one, C. Now then, normally what I can do is I can just drag these around. So bring A down to the middle, I can put C up to the top and move things around and reorder things however I like, which is nice and easy. I'm just selecting them as well. I can just click up and down like this. It's not so straightforward with the macro. So let's start off then. We'll record a macro just to play around. So if I say start recording, now then, if I try to drag this down there, it looks like I can do it, but when I let go, nothing happens. I cannot drag things around in macros. And also, if I click on a layer here to select it, it says, how do you want to select this? Because I'm on the current, the layer is A, but it's do you want to select it by name. But if there are multiple layers called background, for example, that can be a bit tricky. Do I want to select it? just below, so relative to the current position. So just go down one, which is really handy when you've got a whole bunch of layers and you really, really want to go down one. Or do I want it the second layer from the top, which is B is the second layer from the top, or the second layer from the bottom. So it depends upon how you're arranging. This helps you to make sure that wherever you run this macro, it'll make the right kind of selection for you. So let's say I want to say, select the second, the layer name B. So I'll select that. And that's just to select a layer. The second thing is moving them. What if I want to move layer B up? So I just go to arrange, and this is what you're going to do here, because I can't drag it. So I arrange, and it's these ones here you want to move. Front and forward means upwards. Back and to back means downwards. So if I wanted to move that one up, I could say move forward one. If I wanted to move to the top of the stack, I could say move to front. So that's J move to front. And there you go, so it's moved B up to the top. See, and it's it's recording what it's doing in here. And if I then want to say select C and put that at the top, I click on C. See, it could be by the name or it could be one of these. And just say select one from the bottom. So select that. And then if I want to put that one on the top, I've got to go arrange. I could say move forward one, which just moves it up one, and then arrange, move forward one again. And that takes it up the top in two steps. So it's it's that kind of trickiness that you're going to be used to. The second thing here, another one, another thing is with, uh, if you want to make groups. So if I want to say, combine these into a group. So I suppose I've got a, a, the, these two here. I want to combine them. What I have to do is select the second one down first. Um, so if I want it in this order. So I, I click on the B. So I select the layer name B. OK, we'll do it that way. Then I create a group there. So arrange, arrange group. That creates a group. I can open this up with B inside. Then I've got to get the C inside, so I need this. Um, it's only the one above, so I click on the C, select layer named C, OK. Then I've got to put that inside the group, so arrange, move inside. And that arranges it to move that inside the group. Then within the group, I can still move things around, so I can say arrange, move, um, say back one, which down one, so I put that underneath. Suppose I want to add A to this group as well. So now I click on A and it says, what's it, what are you doing here? Cannot select near. So it can't do any of these at the moment. So I'm going to cancel that. What if I go up to the top? So I select the group, select the parent layer group first. So I select that. So in other words, to go select something which is outside the group, I'm going to go out to the group first and then down. Now if I click on A, now I can select the layer named A. So I select that. 
now if I move this up, if I move it up one, it's going to go up to the top of the group. So I can close, I can open and close things here because it's not doing anything that needs recording. But so that A, I arrange, move that forward one, takes it up. Then if I want to put it into the group, then I could do that. Or I could do something like, let's select the group. So I'll select layer one below that, select that. Then I want to make, let's say, a group within a group. So I arrange and create another group there. So if I open this one up, I've got a group inside it, which has got B and C in. So I click on A, select layer named A. So sometimes it's a good idea just to name layers so that it's easier to, to do this. Then I'll go arrange, move inside, and it moves inside that second group. So it's in this group here, and so on. Then if I want to undo things, I could select this one here. So I'll select that, and I'll just ungroup, ungroup it. So arrange, ungroup. I can select the one above that, select that, arrange, ungroup. And I've got back to my original A, B and C hasn't done anything here but this is just to show you how you move things around and do things so particularly with selecting you're going to take from what it gives you um, arranging you can use oops there we go you can create groups you can move them up and down and you can move inside but it moves it, it the selected layer to a group below it and there we go and these are, are just arranging for other things so that's the way to do it. So I hope that was helpful and in another video we'll do a practical example of this. Thank you very much for watching.